Yeah, he's got a little more of a dead weight feeling to him. Yeah, it's a good fish, guys. Good morning and welcome to another episode with Real Hustle. We're just leaving Leadville, Colorado and we're going to pick up Tyler and hit Antero Reservoir in South Park. Hopefully we can hold up some colorful, big, something special, just some nice trout throughout the day. So subscribe if you haven't and let's get right to the fishing. So we just arrived here and it is just beautiful guys. It said that it was supposed to be windy. It's not. It might pick up but there's zero wind now. Full moon. Don't even need a headlamp. We're about to go out here and hopefully crush it. So let's get out on the ice and get in position. So we made it out here. We've got two jaw jackers set each. We're just setting up the rest of our tent. It's supposed to get a little windy today. Hopefully we can start holding up some big fish. I am gonna be fishing with the ice fire system by Mr. Mark today, so hopefully I can spin the wheel. Stay tuned. All right guys, first fish just hit. Doesn't look terribly huge, but it's a fish. Here it comes, it's a rainbow, pretty average. Lentero pork chop, as Tyler would say. Mr. Mark Armstrong jigs though. There he is guys, we're gonna send him on his way. Tyler on his first fish of the day. How's he feel Tyler? It feels like an average one possibly, but he's just a fighter. Unless, I don't know, he's, might be, I think he's a little bigger though. Mr. Mark Armstrong. Oh yeah. Nice little pink football. It's a good fish, I had a guess, probably like 17, 17, yeah, 17. Just gonna give him back right here. Third fish, and we've only been set up for about 15 minutes. This fish definitely feels a little heavier. Unless he's got me in some weed. Yeah, he's got a little more of a dead weight feeling to him. Yeah, it's a good fish, guys. This fish personally feels better than any of the fish I caught in the last episode, and we got some nice fish, so. I'm excited to see what this one is. Unless he's just a fighter. Sometimes that's the case. I just saw him for a second, I didn't get a good look. 
Oh, it's a big old brown. Oh, yes. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. All right, guys, just got this beautiful kiped up brown. My second fish of the day. Really can't complain. <laughs> Look at that. We got a little split nose action going on right there. All right, so we're just hiding from the wind. It did pick up like it said it would. We've had a couple rods pop. We've landed a few fish. So far, pretty stoked on that kiped up brown. He was chunky. He was dark. Just a cool looking fish. Let's see what we can bring you guys next. Nice brown. He's all wrapped up in some weeds though. So we're definitely dealing with a windy day here. Doesn't make anything easy when it's like that, but we're gonna do the best we can. That smoked fish goes hard, guys. Been a little while, guys. Just had a nice hit. Feels like a decent fish. So I actually purposefully took the sound out of this clip so I could explain to you guys what's about to happen. I'm catching a fish now, it's a pretty average rainbow, but as soon as I'm done releasing this fish, I went running for my ice fire system rod, I tripped on another hole, and I fell on top of my rod and completely broke it in half. I ended up breaking Mr. Mark's rod. Oh. Feels like a pretty good fish though. Definitely feels good to be spinning the wheel. The tip of the rod Bro. is. Bro. Holy shit. Bro, the fish just under the oh, this one broke. This one came off completely. So that was a bummer. Not only did we break the rod, but we lost the fish. Not exactly sure why he got off. Maybe it had something to do with the other half of the rod being down there in the water, but he shook loose and he's gone. Uh, we had one other rod pop around the same time, so we're starting to get some action again. So here we go. Some bacon cheddar buggers, baby. Oh yeah. Oh! oh some of this guys in here. So our spatula was just magically missing. So let's show the people what we're using here. That's why we've turned into a hamburger salad because we're uh, we're getting pretty hood out here. Oh my god! Oh, I tried to flip it. it did not work. So. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> sh <laughs> I got that on So we got the full-on tent barbecue going. It's been a pretty funny journey. We've dropped patties in the snow. We've dropped pans off the burner, but it's super dank. We've already tried a few bites, so we're just gonna keep at it. Yeah! Let's go, baby! All right, guys, we're in the middle of cooking, a total <laughs> catastrophe. <laughs> Tyler just said, watch your rod go off. We're already dropping patties, pans falling off burners. Feels like a pretty good fish, actually. Tyler just fell trying to come out of the tent. Ow, ow, ow. Not my fucking leg. Ow, ow. We got a good one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, feels decently heavy. It's been a while. Oh yeah, big brown, big brown. Big brown. Yep, yep, big old female brown, ladies and gents. You can see him. He's ready. Get her. 
pretty fish. Big old male brown, pardon. There he is, guys. Nice, beautiful brown right around that 20 inch mark. What a pretty fish. We're gonna grab a quick slow mo and then we're gonna send him on his way. Creme de la creme. Mm -hmm. This is what it looks like when Tyler cooks. It tastes good, but oh my gosh. I'm gonna try and get the drum on you. Fish on, guys. Yeah, this is a nice fish. Look up my phone. Ooh, it's a nice brown. We're gonna need the phone, brother. Oh, I think it's in the chair. So, uh, just unplug the phone from the whole rig for a second. It's nice looking brown. All right guys, another beautiful male buck brown, nice dark color, great looking fish. We're gonna grab a quick slow-mo and then get him swimming again. All right guys, so Mr. Mark Armstrong jigs are the ticket. You see this little white jig? I'm gonna put it on the screen now. This is the bomb, guys. If you don't, if you got the chartreuse and you got the spawn orange and all this other stuff, make sure you got some of these white ones in your arsenal as well. It's a new thing Mark's doing, so hit him up for half dozen of these things. They're money. Know what I'm talking about. <laughs> He's fighting good, but I can't tell if he's big yet or not. He's just going crazy. He looks pretty average. It's been a while for Tyler, and he put out one of my Placino rods. He's claiming good fish. There's still a fish on the other end, guys, because I was in the weeds big time, but... Oh, he's still there, oh, guys. yeah! Oh, my God! Hey. All right, you ready, ladies and gents? We about to have one of the most greasiest fucking land jobs of all time. With grass. Careful, you got the line. You got the line. Oh, is it just that little guy? Just this little. Look at that! Holy sh! So I thought I had a huge fish, but it just turns out that he was pretty heavy because of that. All right, guys, I just got another fish. Pegged my closest rod. I want to see a splake. No, it's just an average. Brown, it looks like he's doing weird, crazy rolls. He just spun around my line like 10 times. It's probably all wrapped up. Now it's a rainbow. He was just rolling like a brown. 
Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and conclude this episode here. I hope you really enjoyed it. There were some slow moments throughout the day, but overall I want to call it a good day. We got four really beautiful browns on the ice. I don't know, maybe another half dozen rainbows, pretty standard. We had good times just hanging out as the boys here in outdoor Colorado, so there's really no complaints. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you guys in a couple days for another episode with Real Hustle.